Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I'm a programmer and an artist, and today I'm going to make a video about finding UV seams in geometry nodes. Because yesterday I made a video about um, transferring UV coordinates from a, one mesh to another, and that works if the mesh was the same, but then someone commented that um, if you did a voxel remesh, which was something I mentioned in that video, that it didn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because um, when you do a voxel remesh, the faces from that remeshed version aren't going to align perfectly to the, where the seams were in the original mesh. And so somehow you have to make sure that for a given face in the voxel remeshed mesh, it, that all of the corners of that face sample from the same UV island. And so anyway, to do that, you need to be able to find the seams in the UV map. So I thought I'd make couple different videos working up to how you can improve that UV transfer tip to work on more generic geometry. Um, but the first step to doing that is being able to find the UV seams um, in geometry nodes. Now in some cases, like um, this character here, which I just dropped in because I know he has a um, pretty complex UV layout. Um, on this character, I already have seams marked because this was a mesh I modeled by hand um, and so in that case you could just add an attribute named attribute and you could get your UV seams um, UV seam and I think we can just view this on the edges and that should get us the the seams that way However, you can also generate UV maps and geometry nodes and so you might not always have that seams attribute and so a more generic way to do this, um, a good way to test this by the way is we can set the position of our geometry to our UV map which is a named attribute UV map. So as you can see now we have the geometry set to the position of the UV map but there's lots of problems and so the simplest way to fix that is to split the edges but now we have split all of the edges and if we looked at like the mesh island index of all of these different um, meshes every single face would be its own island so if you wanted to preserve the island to be able to capture like a group ID so that you know this whole island was one ID you would need a, to do a smarter way of splitting the edges and so the way you do that is by or I don't know there may be other ways to do it but the way I came up with doing it was comparing on either side of the edge if the position of the face corner uh, on the UV map was the same or not so we're going to look at our named attribute UV map. We want to evaluate it at different indexes. So um, we want an evaluated index node, and we want to evaluate on the face corner for that. Um, we're going to need several of those, but the index we want to evaluate at is the corner of the edge, corners of edge, and then the edge index is just the index because we're assuming that we're going to plug this into an edge selection type. Um, so then once we have, so if we have, if we have an edge here, so this is an edge, and this is a one face corner, and then we have the opposite face corners, right? So there's a corner here, a corner here, a corner there, and a corner here, right? So when we get the corners of the edge, it's going to get one of these. So we'll just pretend it gets that one first. Then what we can do is once we have that corner, we can offset um, corner in face. So we can take that corner index and offset it by one, which is going to slide it down the edge to the other one. And then if we take um, another corners of edge and we do set the sword index to one, it's going to get us the opposite corner of the edge. So it'll be this one. And then if we offset that corner in the face, like this, also offset by one, it's going to go the other direction and get us that corner. So that way we have all four corners. And then we need four evaluated index nodes and we need to connect the different indices to all of those like that and then we want to compare opposite corners if you remember our first one was this corner here so we want to see is that not equal to 
this corner here, which is was the last one. And then we also need to do that for the other two. And then we can say or, because if either of those aren't equal, then there, we need to create a seam there, basically. And then if we plug that, um, so if we come back over here to our UV mesh, make this a little bit bigger. Um, if I plug this into the split edges, it should look exactly the same, which it does. But if we now also take a viewer node and we look at the island index, and we make that a color, and set the viewer node type, you can see that um, every island is the same color because they have the same mesh island ID. So if we unselect this, all the faces are different. Now we have all the seams, they're all together. Um, you can do that that way. You can also then take this selection, um, instead of splitting the edges, another thing you can do with it is do the face groups, face uh, edges to face groups node, and that'll get you a, an ID as well. And so then we can do to color, and view that, and you can see um, we get the same sort of results. And then how that ties into the little tip video I made yesterday about this, the um, sample sample nearest surface node, you can see that it has this group ID and sample group ID socket, and you can um, use that face group ID to make sure that all of the faces, all of the corners of any given face sample from the same mesh island. But I will probably go over that in a different video, um, but a little hint about how that works. Anyway, this setup right here is a good one to just make into a group and connect this UV map as the input for the name and call this, um, uh, we should connect the edges not the face group ID. And you can just call this node group, um, you know, get UV seams or something. And then so that node group here is just one that's very good to have in your geometry nodes um, asset library so that you can drop it into setups whenever you need to know where the UV seams are. Anyway, just another quick tip, useful setup. Um, but that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching.